increased range from Melio and the disengage and heal shields available um, to just try and stand your ground and deal with the big engage. When you've got Cassante, Rakan, Ral, they are going to be diving into you. It's hard to dive into the beefy frontline plus the Enchanter. You might be able to outrange with something like a Jinx. I think LNG, they are going to struggle to find the same explosive. Let's try and get that knockback, but you can see how that, you know, slice and dice start kind of affects you. It just doesn't give you that same level of priority as you mentioned. And now, Hong, kind of realizing he's caught between a rock and a hard place. He's going to try and maybe flash over, gets followed over immediately by, by Tien. This is smart from Hong. You're probably thinking he's dead anyway. Why would he, would he do it? It means they don't give it over to the server. First blood to the Sichuani, definitely the lesser of two evils. Also means Wait. that... Now suddenly, do you have a bit of a look in towards this dragon? Dracula's not going to be here. Tian, is he going to go for a steal? Without flash, I don't think he's bold enough to do so. Indeed, he won't. LNG walk away with the first neutral. So much ability to play around. Rookie's using the TP to, uh, you know, support his team, but also just reset in general. You can do that as a mid laner sometimes. Teleport into river and then just walk back to the lane you're in. It's a little bit different from LNG. Yeah, because of that Herald reset, it stops Top Beast was getting this in good time. Scout has TP anyway. He can probably recall and threaten to tell. You absolutely know there is a chance of the one explosive team fight that could absolutely blow up in the game. It's very even gold. First fight is likely to hold a lot of weight in regards yeah. to that. So this is a huge moment here for either side, more even specifically for Top Esports, because having those extra resistances and shields building up for your tanky team to deal with this full AD comp can be, you know, just so huge. Yeah, it really does feel there's a big engage coming through on the screen. Yeah, we did see a bit of a fight there. The Dominus was already popped. TPs were used as well. They actually look like they're going to be able to burn down Scout and get him down. He doesn't actually get any other damage off. This More is pressure coming in from Top Esports. They almost lose their jungler, mm. but they should be able to get this mid laner after it, or the mid lane. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's not a blowout fight, but again, this mid lane turret going down is really, really important. We already talked about how difficult it was going to be for Top Esports to take that one kind of organically, but finally forcing a fight, forcing some hate starved out for them, they can kind of stall out in that same regard. So this is a big victory for Top Esports, making sure that they have some extra ability to play the map later. I see another gate, though. Doesn't look like LNG are really done with this one here. They're going to try and go for it earlier in the game. Now, so Tien's ended up dying, which is going to be a huge problem for them. But now Rookie is very much caught out here. They didn't see that ward go down. He's just kind of being caught out. Will get stunned in. They're trying to get the Shurima Shuffle out, but he gets charmed and deleted from the map. Now Wayward is here. Gala has to Gale Force just to make sure he doesn't go down. Loses his gear, to be honest. They will be able to pick this one up for themselves. No problem. No questions, but... Where else in the map can they make this work? They're putting a lot of emphasis around this Baron, and we saw him. Yeah, give it up. They, I, it looked like himself and Tien were moving to defend that top lane. It's just like, just let it go. It's not that Actually, they know it's going down. Rookie now realizes he has to get himself out of dodge. That's just going to be Dragon gifted over. Thank you so much for the leash, Top Esports. Now you're oh, on Mount Soul Point here for LNG. This is a repeat of game number two. Top Finding extra wins where they maybe shouldn't be. And given that they, they won with a 9,000 gold deficit before this, being even seems like a win for them. Wayward. Whoa, Wayward taking a lot of damage with the turn back on the scout who goes golden with just enough time to see himself die a couple of seconds later. Now we're going to see Rookie try to go in. Nice buffer of the CC. Rookie's got to go gold with the Magnus Storm to try and make sure Gala does not get caught out. They've kind of swapped positions. It's a little bit of a switcheroo as Tarzan will go down. This Sivir is just pumping out DPS. A flash in with the, uh, the stun to try and make sure Wayward can get on top of Gala who drives a Gale force away but there's just too many resources and finally top esports back themselves they think about maybe going for the mid lane they fall apart around the baron and what was an even gold situation in this game is going to blow out to a huge advantage for top esports a clean ace out damage here on this pick right now has got himself a funny first up lord dominic's regard will pop down the streamers legacy scout pushing this top side so they've traded one for one so far in terms of the turret trade, but I mean, this is going to be a pretty easy take of the tower. As you can see, the Sivir just constantly putting in poke here with these boomerang blades. Hung threatening, but I mean, if they keep trading this, this isn't bad. Unless you trade your Nexus, that's bad. So right now, it's going to be an inhibitor. And they're still pushing forward here. Lord Dominic's regard has been finished turrets, up. Okay. They're looking for the Nexus turrets, but this is still risky. you got a minute and a half. It's hung! Hit by the Ricochet, and he goes down. Wayward trying to fight Scout, as now it's a 3v4 in the base. Scout needs to kill Wayward and get back to his base, otherwise they're going to lose. Scout dies! Wait, Scout did die! How did Scout die? I'm not even quite sure. I'm not quite sure where we're looking at that. Now a TP can come in. Tarzan will be going down. And this looks like it's finally Top Esports coming to life in this series. They will be not 
swept under the rug. LNG will finally taste defeat for the first time in this series. And Top Esports, they will be breathing a heavy sigh of relief. What a bizarre ending to game three of this series. LNG, they held things even, and then Scout oversteps around Baron, and then things just completely fall apart. Things go off the rails. Jackalove on the server, it felt like they just hit critical mass.